Greetings and welcome back to Lost Ark. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are back here in Lake Bar. And um, I think our next uh, our next thingy is in Medric Monastery. We're going to be doing things a tiny bit different. I found out some new information about stuff, and it's like, oh no! But yeah, we we need to do the thing, so we're gonna. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's get our mount. We have our beautiful turtle mount. Also, uh, shall we spoiler alert and be very... No, we won't. We won't. We'll just, we're just going to take the turtle mount, I think. Uh, I did get a brand new mount. It looks like a cross between a llama and a chocobo. Uh, you know what? I'll bring it out just because it's fun. Not this. I want the mount thingy majingi. Where are you? There you are. It is called... A Dawn Chamkuri. And it is cute. Hello. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful beastie. It is so strange and bizarre. But I think I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> so it also has a different kind of like a speed boost. Instead of having a, you know, a space bar thingy, you press Q and hold it down. And apparently it runs faster. I have not had time trials with uh, any of the guild members, so I don't know if it's faster than the jump. It doesn't feel very fast, I have to say. It really doesn't. Um, but I don't know. The cooling down time might be shorter, it seems like. I don't know. Nope. Well, let's see. How long is it cool down? No, it's 12 seconds. So same as the others. Um, but we'll just be using our turtle for the most part. Let's just get to Medric Monastery and get going. Um, and get... Yeah, get things working. I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited to get this class up to 50 because um, I need a DPS. <laughs> uh, when you're playing in a group, it's kind of needed to have uh, both a support and a DPS, at least for our purposes. We have way too many supports in our group, so I want to get another class up there. Anyway, um, let me adjust the sound. I apologize that you couldn't hear what he was saying. Hopefully you can read it. And we're going to just press G. So you're looking for Prince Thyrain and Armin. They went to the monastery to save Sir Bernard. Unfortunately, though, the situation is hopeless. Our forces led by Sir Bernard are all but completely annihilated. You'll be able to hear more details from Abbot Efferin at the monastery. Okay, that sounds fine. So let's see. We have... I'm going to just look for the Makoko seeds, of course, uh, because we have the ability to do so. Let's see. Is it supposed to be here? Yeah, it is supposed to be here. Let's just kill these uh, enemies, these items. Kill the items! Yes! <laughs> Wait, why did that... It didn't... That didn't work very well. Something went very wrong there. There we go. Huh. I think it's supposed to be here-ish. Maybe it's up here. I don't know. Mm. Might be down here, though. Oh, here's an enemy as well. Really. Just trying to, like, figure out where this thing is. Let's see. On the map. Is it this section? Yeah, it seems like it's this section according to the map. Let's just see. Hello? Mokoko? Hello? Where be you? <laughs> Hmm, I'm not seeing it. What the heck? Is it in the middle? Oh, surely not, I hope. I think I might have to come back here because, like, I don't see this thing. It is being extremely naughty. I don't see it otherwise, do I? I don't know where it is. This is weird. Uh, it looks like it's supposedly very simple to find, but I don't see it. Okay, that one's dead now. Good, good. Let's get our turtle back. Um, there is supposed to be one right down... I think, yeah, it's supposed to be right here, somewhere. But it ain't showing up, so we'll have to find it later. Anyway, I don't want to spend, like, too much time, like, looking around for stuff. There's supposed to be an enemy up here. There it is. Okay, good. Any, any of these ones with, the, like, the little, uh, gold masks? Well, not any of them. Some of them, it doesn't seem to affect them that way, but... They're supposed to be ones that you kill for the Adventure Tome. And I have gotten quite a lot of progress. Okay, so today, let's find out how much progress we're going to get. We have, we're in West Lutera, 48.4. 
I'm going to note that down somewhere and just see how much we get in the content we do. Okay, 48.4, noted. Oops, excuse me. There's a lot of respawning happening. And then I want to look at the Mococo seeds. Supposed to be one right at the bottom here. Oh, there it is. Yep, I see it. Nope, it's going to kill us. No, dude. Let's not kill us. Kill us. Get the Makoko seed. There we go. Okay, so let's go into the monastery. See what we can find. I think I found. I did find one inside the monastery, but there are two more that we have not yet found. See, I feel like that dash by the turtle is super fast. Looks nice. Adventurer. You're the adventurer Prince Thyrain talked about. Sure I am. Sir Bernard has risked his life to protect the priests. Thanks to him, we were able to prevent the demons from entering the monastery. However, we didn't expect them to use the underground canal. Sir Bernard went down to the catacombs to stop the demons. We haven't heard from him since. Prince Thyrain also rushed down there while, when he heard what happened. Oh god, I have to rescue multiple people now. You should be able to find him in the underground levels of the monastery. I never imagined that the demons would infiltrate through the underground canal. Well, why didn't you? Like, that is the first thing you check. If it's alright with you, could you please vanquish those demons? <laughs> yeah, if it's alright with you, can you vanquish? Mm, what a phrasing. The dare to defile the sanctum? Okay, sure, fine. All right, let's go and get stuff and kill things and all the things. Yeah. So we need to kill, let's see, Elements of Darkness, Watchers of Darkness. Uh, I think we'll go up to the middle section there because that is where we have our... Uh, wait, hello? Oh, yeah, that's right. We have a staircase there. I forgot about that. Go up here. We have an enemy in this other section as well as a Makoko seed. Let's go up here, and there is an elite as well. I don't know if that's the one we are seeking. Maybe not, but we can try. Oh my god, those AoEs are so nice. Got defeat the Watchers of Darkness. Okay, let's do this. Cool. Alright, very nice. Okay. So we're gonna go up here, and Makoko, I think, is, should be in the second alcove somewhere. There it is completely hidden as you see so what else do we need we need watchers of darkness is that a watcher of darkness no that's not one excuse me i don't think you're the one i'm looking for dude sorry we'll kill you later it's fine is that oh that's an elemental i don't know if we got our oh no there isn't an enemy up here uh those are elementals hello watcher oh that's a watcher okay cool you qualify for our destruction program let's get you in line <laughs> All right, very good. All right, now we're going into this little uh, alcove here, right? All right, Medric Catacombs, let's go. Let's do the thing. It's not a very big area, as I recall. Yep, it's just a room. Old man, you're still alive. Thank the gods. Not for much longer. I'm afraid. I Aww. hoped I could see you take the crown with my very own Herman, eyes. Is there nothing you can do? Your Highness, it's too late for me. Don't say that. I'll make sure it pays for this. I swear it. A king must control his anger. A king must rule his subjects with kindness. A king must believe in himself. Vanquisher will surely shine again. Use it to restore Lutera to its glory as the kingdom of night I believe in.
blaming yourself man yeah and punching stone is not good for your hands it seems like Prince Thyrain is deeply heartbroken he's never shown himself like that before do you think there's a way to cheer up Thyrain yes let's dance for him as is typical Sir in this Bernard game. has been like a grandfather to the prince especially after his highness lost his father that kindly lord has always nurtured a sense of pride in the prince for Lutera. I remember how they would fondly exchange words as they listened to the Song of Valor together. Okay. Sir Bernard must have been extremely precious to Thyrain. He was. The Song of Valor. Do you happen to know that tune? I hope Thyrain can be encouraged somehow. Yes, let's play a song. That sounds completely appropriate. Hmm. Also, if you're wondering what they're talking about in chat, there is an achievement for getting 50 friends. I did that yesterday, and you just can add random people. Do be careful because the uh, of, of the Valor. stronghold permissions. You should set those before you that start inviting people. Um, Come. We have much to do. But anyway, you get these, like, uh, purple crystals. I'll show them to you as soon as I get my hotbar back. Let's see, is it under... Uh... Mm, Roster, maybe, no, no, where? Ah, I don't know where they are actually now. Uh, there's a thing called like, um, universal inventory or something like that. Why am I not seeing this? Uh, anyway, I'll show you what they look like. Um, yeah, inventory is I usually. So you get these guys, amethyst shards. Uh, a thousand amethyst shards for getting 50 friends. And it's easy to track. Uh, I just basically, what you should do is if you have actual friends, <laughs> write a note uh, on them. I'm not going to show you my friends, um, but... There's a thing where you can write a note under the friend person and write or put them in a group. You can also put them in a group. And um, so then you know who who you're actually knowing. This is, I mean, not that other people are not going to be good friends because you might make new friends this way. But uh, it's generally just like spam, 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 getting friend requests. And you'll get it and then you can clean up your friend roster Thank afterward. You. You're always around to help me out. I'll see you outside. For everyone's sake, now is not the time to falter. Yeah, I hope you know that. I made up my mind, but there's still a problem. Oh, yeah? Okay, so... All right, so we're outside. Let's go back inside because when you're in a cutscene like that, you often cannot get the Makoko seeds, and I don't know where it is. Gee, uh, there we go. Okay, yeah, it's right here. So this desk, All right? I don't know if we can mount in there. So, all right, so we're gonna go outside now. I really wish I could figure out that other Makoko seed on the entrance of this place. That's weird. I'll probably go in and try to get it later. I don't know though if it needs a different song or something. I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty, let's go, 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 go. Let's see. Oh! Southwest of the monastery? Huh. Okay, it looks like there are a couple of Makoko seeds that we need another song for. I'm gonna go ahead and play the song because you'll get the song later. Uh, it's a very important song to get as soon as you get a ship and have level 50. I think you need level 50 for it, so. Demons. Oh, we forgot to get the triport as well. I've made up my mind, but there's still a problem. Oh yeah? The old man, I mean Sir Bernard's unit, could be said to comprise the core strength of our forces. But at this rate... Please don't give me that look. 
Actually, I told Armin about my concerns, and he gave me a wise answer. Oh, yeah? He said we should go meet a faction that hasn't decided which side they'd be on. I'm told there's a village called Freyad near this monastery. I'll be heading there to gather a militia. In the meantime, could you ask Armin to help us get the support of the warrior priests of the Medric Monastery? Rather than have me ask, I think it would be better if a fellow priest like Armin were to ask them. I wouldn't want them to bear any unnecessary burden. Please proceed. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's get the triport. It's always interesting. Those triports in different areas have different animations. Oops, we forgot something here. Hello, Armin. Speak to Abbot of Farron? I already have. Actually, the abbot has been looking for you, Tanriel, to discuss that matter. Abbot of Farron has always supported the late king and our prince. Perhaps you'd like to talk to the abbot yourself. I'll be treating the wounded in the monastery in the meantime. Please go ahead to Freyad Village. Adventure, of course. I've been meaning to accommodate Prince Thyrain's request. I've been making the preparations ever since I saw, heard that Sir Bernard was, would be on his way. Look at that. I didn't notice the bottom of the staff. That's kind of cool. Medric Monastery will fight on Prince Thyrain's side. Please send word of my intent to Zenon, the captain of the warrior priests. However, there is one thing that concerns me ever so slightly. That Zenon fellow can be a bit stubborn, you see. The attacks on the crowning ceremony and Sir Bernard clearly point toward the possibility that Sherrit is in league with the demons, but there is no way to prove it yet. Zenon is the type of person who requires hard evidence to be convinced. Then again, he tends to feel obliged to return favors. So would you vanquish some of the demons attacking the monastery on your way to Zenon? I'm sure that it will make it much easier for you to broach the subject with him. Okay, as if I hadn't fought a million demons before. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's go here. All right, so now in this area, we're looking for a statue. Alrighty, are there any other enemies? No. But there should be a statue around here-ish. There's a statue. Oh, somebody already played the Song of Resonance. Anyway, would you see a statue? Usually it's a standing person. Uh, you can play the Song of Resonance and it will open us up a secret passage as you have seen here. Um, yeah see where is the other one there is another one right there so there are two in this passage so that's the yay is real but you have to have the song of resonance so yeah you'd play it in front of this statue and the statue moves opening up this passageway but you see statues there are several in the game like this which is why i mention it okay so what do we okay let's go up the other thing because there's not a lot of demons around here there's like insufficient demons yes <laughs> All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some here, yay. Right. So what else we need to do? Defeat dark summoners. We need to look out for that mob type. There are some enemies up here that we definitely want to kill. Uh, there is a named mob. So I'm going to try to get that dude. Oh, there he is. There's the named mob. Boom. All right. And completion. Beautiful. Okay, dark summoners complete. Very good. So that means we can get on our horsey. And there's also a secret passage. There we go. Yep, sometimes the passage looks looks oopsies. Looks locked, but it's not. It's just Yeah. Just hidden. Alright, I don't know exactly where the Makoko seed is. The instructions just show two in this area. Oh, wait, there's one right behind the chair. Nice. All right, we can't summon a mountain here, so we just have to go back normal. Oh my god, a different rug! A carpet! 
Holy fuzzy cats. Almost all the rugs in the game are exactly the same. They're like these red with like diamonds on them. I'll show you when we get there. But that is like the, the first like proper like Persian rug I've seen. Well, I guess the others might be Persian as well. I don't know. They're, they're a different style of, of rug, of carpet, not rug. Carpets. They're called carpets, not rugs. All right, here we go. Who are you? Your Prince Thyrain's companion? I sure am. I see. Actually, I've watched you from afar earlier on. You were quite adept at slaying those demons. Thank you for doing that. It's helped the warrior priests. Hmm. Since I suppose the abbot sent you here, uh, sent you here since he decided to join forces with Prince Thyrain. I already saw that coming. In principle, a cleric should not become involved in politics without a particularly good reason. However, none of that matters right now. We have already been independently gathering evidence of Regent Sherrett's collusion with the demons. Oh, so he's onto this. That's cool. The warrior priests of Medric Monastery will follow Prince Thyrain. I'll see you on the battlefield. All right. Good, good. Oh, whoops. Oh, I forgot she didn't dismount her horse. Darn it. Okay. Let's keep on going. We need to go up here. There's a Makoko up there. So we're just gonna kind of make our way toward that area over there where our marker is located. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a Makoko right up there somewhere. There it is. You can actually see the leaves. Nice. Oh, and we have skill points. This is kind of great. Let's see if we can improve something. Okay, I really love this thing, but we need a lot of skill points for the next... I guess we could save them. I don't know. Let's see. Squall is also good. That's already good. The combo is fun. Maybe we should get this. What do we got? Fire outgoing is plus 25. Water. Attack speed. Move speed. Lightning crit rate is also high. That seems really nice. We need 20 points. We don't have enough points for that. But we can raise the damage. Um, let's see. The Seraphic Hail. I love that one. That one's very good. I feel like that might be better. Let's see. Throws Hail plus 40% damage. Uh, mm, a large explosion where the wave hits, knocking damage, knocking foes back. That could be really good, actually. I think that's probably best because it gives us space as a caster to, like, not get dead. So, yeah, good stuff. All right, let's get out of here. Um, even if you don't hit one of the tripods, by the way, like, if you look at your skill, these things are called tripods, these things. I don't know why. Don't ask me. It has to do with the game um and the company and all that the whole tripod uh, name and symbol and stuff um i would call them probably runes the runes are a separate thing anyway um even if you don't hit these tripods it still increases the damage so it's worth putting points in even if you don't hit it because of the damage increase and stuff so uh yeah don't be afraid that you're wasting points or something because it all it all contributes to the overall damage output all right, so we have a, a whoops, that was the correct. We have a thing in the middle of this thing. It is a, um, a lookout point, which I might have already gotten. I don't know, but we'll see. One of the cool things about playing with a guild, especially like on Discord and stuff, is like you can get to know people. And uh, I've already gotten to make friends with some new people, and that's really cool. I think it's really difficult to make friends as an adult. So having an opportunity, like playing an MMO and playing together and just chilling, hanging out in a voice channel, is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like it. Wait, did I? There we go. Okay. Let's go. And then go here, another elevator. This area is kind of funky. I, I kind of like it though. It's very, it's a little bit, um, I don't, one thing I really love about the Dark Souls series is that it's got this like creepily large buildings and like you wonder like who lives there, you know, what do they do here? At least I wonder those things. Um, but 
yeah, this this isn't that grand of a scale, but it has a little bit of that mystery to it, I feel. A little bit. Alright, let's keep on going. We're going up there. Oh, and we should be collecting some of this stuff as well. I'm gonna go ahead and gather. I yeah, my gathering meter is up. We need to definitely Oh, that one only had one thingy? Okay, that's weird. Most important, I would say, is gather the leaves, the, the flowers someone. and stuff, because this is the thing that sells for the most on the auction house or market house thingy, the player-based uh, market, because people make potions out of it, and you need a lot of flowers to make a single potion. So really, really useful to You're do here. that. So what did and the those potions that you make say? are like raid potions instead of just the regular potions. Raid potions are different. They're not the same as the the other ones. I'll talk about that in a second. Let's see. The warrior priests will join us. That's very gracious of them. I had just arrived in this village myself. As I expected, the region's tyranny is causing turmoil for everyone here. Recently, brigands have appeared in the vicinity to add to the villagers' suffering. Would you find out more about their situation? Sure. Um, all right, so I don't know if I have any raid potions right now. Let me just organize this. Um, yeah, here they go. Okay, so this is a raid potion where it's 30% HP. This one is 45% HP. The ones that give you like set uh, things like 768, that's a regular potion and can be over here. Raid potions can be put on the bottom bar like here. I'm not going to put it on because I don't want to accidentally use it. Those are extremely valuable. Do not uh, use too many of those. Save them for when you get to guardian raids and these other kind of things. Don't use them now. It's not worth it uh, because they're really expensive. Because the percent, obviously, it is percent. So even if you have, like on my other character, I'm at like 11,000 HP. Um, I want to use 30 30 percent because it restores much more of her life i mean there are bigger of these potions but you can't use them in raiding so anyway uh important stuff yes okay let's go ahead and delete some things because i think we are good dismantle all the things go yes accept thank you very much and good all right now i am the village chief barchan hello Currently, we don't even have a single day's worth of food. Oh, dear. The regent took all of our supplies, you see. To make matters worse, the Dust Pocket Brigands. Wow, is that like an advertising name? The Dust Pocket Brigands. It's like, dudes, you don't keep your clothes clean or what? In the southern hills are raiding us. At first, they took our food. And now that there's nothing to take, they began abducting people. Are they eating them? They've taken our young women, possibly to ransom. Really? You think it's for ransom? I think you don't know the ways of the world, guy. However, we don't have the energy to be outraged by this. Really? Wow, you have certain thresholds that I definitely have different ones all. on. It was bad enough they steal from us. Now they abduct our people? I will no longer stand by and just watch Sherrod's forces wreak havoc. I must find a way to help these people. Would you help me find a way? Sure. Anyway, I like to go um, and do foraging on, especially on low level characters, because it's easier to find stuff. When you get to ships and stuff, uh, a lot of it is spent sailing and there's some amount of like uh, raiding and chaos dungeons and stuff where you don't have the opportunity even to gather. So it's nice to gather on a character where we... Okay, and this is that shieldy thing protecting me. Oh, whoops. We want to go uh, press B, and then now we want to do our spells. It takes a while to get out of the b -ness. All right, let's go and keep on harvesting. Oh, no, the other person got it, I think, sooner than I did. Yep. Oh, well. I just didn't want to get pounded on too much. But yeah, I highly recommend especially getting your skills up um, high enough. Because when you get to Annika, which is a different continent, they have level 2 foraging and level 2 logging. Uh, so that's kind of important to get your skills up. Of course, there are ways, like if you get... Uh, what is it? What is it that you get? It's not island tokens. It's another special resource like that. 
You get seven of them. Oh, whoops. Uh, B and kill things. Okay, best pocket people are done. All right, we're done with this. Nice. This is actually, it seems like a decent place to forage stuff because there's many nodes here. But yeah, a really good idea to forage when you can. Let's go over this way. I don't want to spend the whole episode foraging, obviously, but it you should. You should spend some time. Like here I have, um, these things are up a bit. Uh, logging is at 19. I find I don't do a lot of mining because I just don't need the materials right now. But logging is important for a lot of stuff in your stronghold, like researching stuff, building stuff, ships and stuff like that. Uh, and of course the herbalism is important for making potions. Let's see, are there any Makoko seeds? Yes, there are. I missed one. Oh, we're gonna have to go back. Sorry. Sorry about that. I missed a seed. Two seeds, in fact. Yep, they're down there. Down where we had the really good patch. Uh, one of my favorite islands to, to forage on is Lullaby Island. There are no enemies, so you don't have to worry about... Yeah, running into enemies, mostly. Yeah. No. V, thank you. Go away. There's a Makoko right here. Oh, we got a thing. I could see the little arrow. Let's see. Nice. Okay, good. And then there is another Makoko seed. Actually, I should just get on horse. It's almost always worth getting on your horse. Almost always. Oh, it's down here. I guess I could just do that. So now we can actually port to this uh, thingy. I think it takes less time. In the time it takes of playing the song of Triport, we can be there. It's Sometimes it's a bit iffy because sometimes it's so close. It's like, no, nah, I should just drive there. It's fine. But I think that was worth. It was a distance enough to be worth it. Hello. Okay, one villager. Done. Two. All right. And... Hello. There you are. But yeah, this is actually a really nice area for these uh, plants and stuff. Um, let me see. Let me try to remember what it was that I had multiple of. Okay, collectibles. Was it? It wasn't Giant's Hearts. It was World Tree Leaves. Ah, yes. So this is, remember, if you gather stuff, you can get World Tree Leaves. It's very random. But once you get, I think it's five of them or something. No, I don't know. This is, this is 12. Maybe it's five or six. I don't know. Check it in your thingy because it doesn't show me anymore. You get five of these potions. Generates 2,200 XP for each trade skill. I think I was at like level eight foraging or something. And it put me to like level 12. Because uh, I was really struggling in Annika because, like, you know, half the nodes you see are level 2 and half are level 1. And it's like, no, I should have also gotten this thing. Don't. So, this is not WoW, by the way. There are. You have multiple thingies. There's also a Makoko seed right here. Oh, there's also an enemy down there that I didn't get. Oh, I'll get it in a second. You've done a great job. Thank you. Thanks to you, the people here should be able to satiate their immediate hunger. What did we do? I gathered herbs. Uh, I too handed out some of our rations, but this village is still much at risk. This is all because of the villainy of Sherit. We must defeat him as soon as possible and prevent any more atrocities from happening. This village is I agree. Joined forces with us. Hmm. Unfortunately, none of them are in any shape to march with us. But then I heard about something else. They say that the militia in Bilbrin Forest is near nearby is quite capable. Although it was a similar force, smaller force, oh my god, I can't word, read today apparently, they even managed to defeat Sherrit's men. If we can enlist their help, it would greatly enhance our forces. There's a problem, however. It's their leader, Castleford. For some reason, he insists on maintaining total neutrality. Uh, thus, it may not be so easy to enlist their aid. I heard Chief Barchan's son, uh, Frisky, often visits the Bilbrin Forest. 
they say we should be able to get in contact with the Bilbrin militia through him. However, since that may take too long, I'd like to ask you to meet Frisky uh, yourself. We'll go ahead into the Bilbrin forest. We'll wait for you there. I hope to hear good news. Okay. We're going into the forest then. We'll see. Alright. Nice. Alright, so this is our map. We're starting in the bottom uh, corner here. Let's go up this way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. There was a thing. There was a thing we had. We missed uh, one of the Makoko seeds in uh, in Medric Monastery that I didn't go back for. No, it, was, it wasn't the seed. It was actually a mob that we missed. It was this one. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, yep. We we had missed that one previously on a previous playthrough as well. I love this. Like we're 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 really making some progress on this. It feels good. It's good. Good stuff. Now, also note that I think this thing is not telling us where we have um I, I should actually look up a different guide, maybe. One second. Alright, on my separate screen, I'm also looking right now at a... It's guided.news. They have, like, an interactive map that shows more than just the mobs. They also show, like, the stories and food ingredients. And those are pretty important when you're looking at getting some major completion going on. So let's go ahead and use that new map. And it's really cool because you can, like, tick things on and off if you want things to be a little bit Who less... Uh, busy. What? You want to contact the Bilbrin militia? How would I know anything about that? Stop talking nonsense and just go on your way. Hmm, a letter? Ah, this is from Father, I see. You helped the villagers. Admirable. Well, I suppose I'll help you. In that case, I can't go right now, though. Here, take this coin. It's engraved with my signature and should be able to help you get what you need. Go to the Hid Hidean village and find a hunter named Toybonin. He's a close friend of the militia. He's a bit abrasive, so you'll have to have no luck striking up a conversation as an outsider. Well, you don't know who I am. Gather up some moonlight wolf tails and rock bear claws on your way there. Hunters do that as a sign of respect and gratitude. Really? You just kill random animals and take their tails and crap? And, like, leave their carcasses to rot? Like, what about that whole army in the last map that needs food? You should be able to exchange a few words with him if you bring those. Jeez, that just sounds horrible. Um, Alright, so I want to go up here and collect. There is a mob up here, apparently. Mm, I don't. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Large rock bear, good. This one is very tanky, tanky boy. Oh, I forgot I have to hold that one down. Okay, so there is supposedly a Makoko seed up here as well. I am looking for it. There it is. It's right in here. Okay, but apparently I don't have Makoko seed protection, alas. There we go. Okay, so we'll go out this way. Also, when you're logging, you can actually do that cooperatively. Also, we have our first hunting thingy. So if we press we press Q and then right click to potentially attract this rabbit into our death thingy. There it goes. So let's G at this. So this gives us meat. Notice I am not at all perturbed about the animals just like okay, that's fine. We have plenty of HP. We're good. In no danger of going to zero. So Makoko Seed is in this area. Oh, I see a mob. Okay. Didn't give us the completion. Maybe we completed it before, maybe that one doesn't count. Alright. Anyway, we'll get our horse. And then we will look over here. 
Apparently it's in here somewhere. There it is. Gee. No. I love that series of things. That is so good. All right, so apparently there's some food in this area down here. Not, oh, there it is. Gee, investigate. An ingredient for a local specialty dish. So you can find these ingredients around. This is why I went, wanted to go to the other map, and I can't believe I, I forgot to do that earlier. But yeah, we got man-eating bear's gallbladder. Let me check on this thing. So I don't have any of the specialty dishes done, but hopefully we'll get to a city where we can uh, look into that because I'll show you how that works. In any case, if we don't get there in this episode, we can get there in another one. So anyway, trees can be cut down with multiple people. And even though you get a tiny bit less from each cutting, uh, what you do get is it takes less energy to do so. So it is actually more efficient energy-wise when you're talking about cutting down trees. All right, let's keep on going. The hunter guy is in here. That's perfect because we need to go down there anyway. There are two story things uh, in that area. The story things are these. The hidden stories are right here. And some of those have multiple parts, so they're really difficult to Tails. get. Claws, identify yourself. Toy Bonin does not know you. Not yet. Toy Bonin does not know you. If you want to live, don't come close to Toy Bonin. Doing my best. Tails? Claws? How does an outsider know this? Coin. Frisky's wait writing. What do you want? Toy Bonin is busy. Bilbrin? Militia? Contact? Toy Bonin does not trust you, but Frisky is trusted. Even a prince cannot make contact. People lived here a long time ago until Red Hand came. Then everyone went to refugee outpost, but Toy Bonin stayed. Everyone touchy. I think you're touchy, dude. I don't think anybody else is touchy. There is a lake up north. See this sign? Take it. Johannan of Bilbrin knows Toy Bonin. Okay. Sounds interesting. So... Apparently, according to this map, there is some hidden stuff. Oh, there's one here. Okay, so this is one of our stories. Lost letter one of two. It's a quiet village, isn't it? This is where I grew up. There were lots of kind people and laughter here. If you found this letter, go to... Go find the white flowers blooming at the Raccoonie Habitat in the Bilbrin Forest. Okay, so this is the lost letter... It doesn't complete because that's part one of two. There's another part. I don't know. There's more. There's one down here as well. Let's see what we got down here. If we can. So the problem is that sometimes. Okay. This one is not coming up. So sometimes like if this is part two of another thing. It won't show up until you find part one. So we need to find part one. And unfortunately the map doesn't show things in order. So that's not idea. Not ideal. Oh, whoops. Where are we going? Uh, we need to go there. All right, so let's go there. And we'll just try to get the story pieces we can and then come back later for the other pieces, um, maybe. Okay, there is some Makoko somewhere here. You find yourself, like, running into walls. It's very weird. Oh, darn. Should have tried to help him. I didn't even see. Okay, let's search this thing. Oh, I was looking in the wrong place. Sorry, I didn't uh, zoom in close enough on the map there. Okay, here we go. It's right here. I'm going to go around this other side and grab that one. Should be... Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Nice. Where are we going now? Going up that way. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go... Oh, wait, let's see where we, where this quest takes us, and then we can get out of here. No. Outsider, identify yourself. Entry into Bilbrin Forest is heavily restricted. Toy Bonin? This is undoubtedly a sign from Toy Bonin. Are you an acquaintance of Toy Bonin? You must be. You As for Prince... Toy Bonin? Interesting. As for Prince Thyrane, he's already had a conversation with our leader, Castleford. Are you an acquaintance of Toy Bonin? Interesting. Why do you keep repeating yourself, dude? I don't understand this. You sound like the other guy. You can hear the full story from the prince himself. Go. Wow. 
You're friendly. You're here. I sought out Castleford to ask for help, but he refused. Hmm. You did what so with such ca he did so with such callousness I could barely exchange any words with him. Perhaps you could try talking to him for me. Maybe. I can try. I'm Castleford, the leader of this militia. You've heard of the Red Hand mercenaries, haven't you? This was all plotted by Regent Sherritt. Thanks to him, our home in the Bilbrin Forest was brought to ruins. Sherrod is free to roam like a rabid dog right now because Prince Thyrain was unable to protect his own throne. I trust neither side. I'm sick and tired of being used for their dirty politics. We'll protect our home with our own strength. Don't interfere with our way of life. Get out of here. Okay. Failed to protect my own throne? He's not completely wrong about that, you know. However, even if he refuses to side with a faction, these people remain the people of Lutera. We must protect them. It's my duty to eliminate the mercenary band threatening the people of the Bilbrin Forest. I would appreciate your assistance with this. Please assault the main encampment of the Red Hand mercenaries. Take them out before they come for us. Okay. Let's get the teleport point and let's also find there's a couple of items in this area somewhere. Eh? No. Oh, no. No, this is the wrong... Okay, hold on. There's some places just a tiny bit south that I want to collect uh, a couple of collectibles in. And then we'll check our progress for today. Oh, we have an elite. That is nice. The elites will give you... Oh, they, all, they always have like a shrimp over their heads. I'm not... Either a shrimp or a croissant. It's hard to tell which. Be All right, we got things and stuff, which is great. Wait, wait, why can't I move? Oh, I'm frozen. Okay, that's not good. All right, let's go down here. There is um, a named mob in this area somewhere. Is that you? Oh, that's cute. Hello. Wow, that's very cute. Okay, so we have things here. There's a lookout point here, so let's do that one. Oh, that is very cute. I don't want to delete that. Do we see? Oh, there's the enemy. It's right over there. That's the one we need. It's a shame. They're so cute. I'm like, no. I don't want to hurt you. You're adorable and you're not even attacking me. I feel bad now. Boom. Okay. So let's get... There's a Makoko seed down this away. Down here. There it is. See, they're not even hurting me. And I'm like, why did I have to kill that one? It felt so bad. Sometimes I don't like when games do that. They're like, oh yeah, let's just kill a whole bunch of digital animals because it doesn't matter to anybody. Well, it matters to me. Let's see. There's supposed to be a story in this area. Oh, there it is. Right there. It's like a notebook lost in the grass. Okay, there's lost letter number two. So we should have it right there. Okay, great. Okay, so we made it to 52.6%. That's pretty decent. Not too bad. So so that's a yay. Hooray. Um, also, one of the things that I need to do in this playthrough is... Do you notice, like, these are the dungeons in this area? It looks like I did one on hard mode because this red symbol is lit up and one on normal mode. So we need to do the opposite so we get more completion. So if you're going around, you can either do uh, the dungeon twice on the same character or even better, just do it on a different character as you're going up and leveling them up through. So anyway, let's claim this card. Oh, we get a share it card. Hooray. Thank yous. Okay. And that's what we got. Let's see. Let's get our... Uh, let's get that going. This one. Yep. And different stick. Nice. All right. Happy days are here again. So I think this is we'll, where we'll leave it for now. Um, and we will... Yeah, get back to this tomorrow. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.